Hello Cancer, it's my lady from my Lady's Way Tarot. I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 21st through August 28th, 2017. Love reading. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing. And setting up personal readings for me and also don the donations. I really appreciate that. It made me feel special. <laughs> and um, if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up, okay? Um, other than that, let's get this show on the road. Make sure to check your sun, moon, rising signs. I probably say that like three times. So for some of you guys, a weight has been lifted. Mm. Okay, some kind of baggage I'm feeling like. <clears throat> All right, what's going on for cancer? Love life. Cancer Love Life, August 21st through 28th, 2017. August 21st through 28th, 2017. Cancer Love Life, what's going on? Okay, guys. Oh. Okay, so we're going to start here. And uh, it's basically saying something is not looking too good for the future. So this was sad ways. We're going to leave it like that. So this... This makes me feel like somebody was living far away and they moved close or maybe somebody is in limbo about moving out or some kind of trip. Like, I don't know if I want to go there, you know. It's because. Wow. So this could mean I feel like somebody's arguing right now. This could mean, like, I don't know if I want to go on this trip for both sides. Or I don't know if I want to move in with you. Or I don't know if I want to move in out. You know, y'all both seeing it like it's something bad. It's not a good idea to move in, I feel like. And this says, this person may feel like you're emotionally draining. But this is a um, general reading. Sorry, guys. It could be both ways. could be either way. Okay. Okay, yeah, you guys do love each other. There are there there is love here. But it's just a lot of argument going on. Ooh. Arguing about a third party. So I wanna figure out what this is about because first I heard that uh you found out or they found out about a third party. I keep hearing pass, pass, pass. So, I don't know if this was like some kind of makeup trip or something. Okay, so... I feel like, yeah, this might have happened in the past where... Um, you caught your person cheating. They trying to make up with a trip. And then now, it's just time to go on this trip or time to move in together. Or time to make whatever movement, commitment that they made. And you're looking at it like, why the hell would I move in with this person after they did this to me? That's what's going on here. Like, this person really has and had a third party. Like, why would I move closer? Why would I go see them? Ooh, so this person may have a baby with you. Either y'all have children together or... Um, you really care about this relationship. This one is sticking out, so I'm going to just flip it. Ooh, so this makes me feel like the third party situation might have happened at work or may have happened with one of your close friends. Okay, and this is basically saying you knew it was happening, but you was like trying to doubt yourself, and now you're coming to actualization like, damn, they really did do that to me. Okay, so what's going on with the cancer? Cancer, cancer. What's going on in the Cancer Love Life? August, August, August. August 21st to 28th, 2017. Cancer Love Life. What's going on? Please tell us what's going on. What's going on? Mm, I don't know why my neck just started burning. It started burning and it felt like a little choky. But like, you know how you be crying for days and something? All right, that's going to trip again. Mm. Incompletion. So here it makes me feel like you're not going. Yeah. I feel like somebody doesn't want to fight anymore. Alright. So somebody is trying to recover the relationship. But let's see what's going on. Let's read the Knight of Staffs first. 
All right, it says, you may be taking a trip soon over a long distance. Now is a good time to change where you live. You, uh, if you want to leave the situation, leave now. So it's basically like, you know, don't wait till after the trip or don't wait till this person move in or don't wait till you move in with this person. Like if you don't, the trust ain't there, just dip out. All right, so now we got the world card reverse. Boredom, tiredness, unwilling to maintain a mission. Just like, yeah, you don't really want to. Like, you know, I'm sick of this situation. I'm sick of being cheated on and lied to. And I don't know if I want to do this anymore. All right, so we got the nine of staffs. Staff, 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 staff. All right, um, the result product of lack of planning movement will be painful and draining with little time to rest. So this makes me feel like you are all packed up and ready to go. And then you had a reality check. Like, why am I doing this? I should not be around this person. I shouldn't be dealing with this person or this happened to you. You know, it's like you love this person. You want to be with them or whatever. But you're starting to get flashbacks of things that they've done to you. All right. So now we have the Four of Swords. All right. This says... Can indicate lack of sleep, can show the need for some time away from a negative situation, possible illness. I don't know why I just got the feeling that some of you are actually taking a trip to be away from this person. Like some of you are like, okay, I need a break so I can go realize what's going on, so I can see what's going on in this and see if I want to stick around or not. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal read, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a great day.